hello, hello, hello. I had to redo it, had to redo it. Because I didn't know the volume was not on. Okay. We are filming in a new room. Ooh, I don't like this angle. But it is what it is. Okay, I have what is called an Ollie's haul for you all. I know, it's been a while. I know. Y'all probably dropping dead because Sally is on the air. Yeah. But, we will get started. We have lots of things that I have purchased this evening. Some of it is food, some of it is candy, so don't judge. I know you all are going to judge, so don't judge. Okay, I have Thin Mint Orange. I like them, even though the words are backwards. Maybe if I do this. Nope, doesn't matter. Okay, words are backwards. Thin Mint Orange. That's one thing that I picked up. My brother is here from out of town and with his girlfriend. And he spotted garlic and rosemary sea salt. I thought I'd pick some up because it sounded good. For, oh, I didn't give you a price. This was... A dollar nineteen for the orange thin mints, and this is three dollars and twenty nine cents. So, kind of interesting. And I jumped on the bandwagon. I am gonna try to lose a little bit of poundage this uh, summer. Our weather has been going up and down in a few things, and I decided to pick up a bottle of this Goldie Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies for $7.99. So I picked up a bottle of that. Then I saw this, and I thought... Hand food or food for your hair, hair food, they have the sticker over it. Hair food smooth shampoo, um, out of cavo, out of cavo, out of cavo, out of cavo, whatever. And argan oil, argan something, um, for six dollars and ninety nine cents. Thought I'd try it. I'm also looking for something to take out tangles out of my hair. Then they had some panko, panko uh, Italian bread crumbs for a dollar ninety nine, and it is a twelve ounce container. I bought two of these, and then <sighs> my husband and I use the razor blade razors and so I found this three piece shaving kit that comes with the brush and a razor and the stand so that was ten dollars for that And I know you gotta be careful with them because I have cut my armpit with mine. And then I got a gel bic extra smooth gel pen. And it says vibrate writing, so I really don't know. That would be interesting. Are they telling me that it's going to vibrate when I write or something? I don't know. That's a little weird. But I, anyways. Oh, vibrant. <laughs> vibrate. 
naughty, naughty girl, Sally. Hmm. Naughty thinking, naughty thinking. Then the hamster needed a new pair of slippers, so we got him a pair of slippers for $4.99. Because he, his toe goes through the ones that I bought him in at this one place. So got him a pair of just plain black slippers. He likes these kind, I guess. I don't know where to put them. Then I got some crisp and thin salt and vinegar uh, Ritz for a dollar ninety nine. Then I got my hamster some soft oatmeal cookies, um, iced soft oatmeal cookies. He likes the ones with the raisins, but you can never find them anywhere. So he figured he'd settle for these, and these were three dollars and forty nine cents. For that, then my brother wanted one of these glass, you know, bowls with the snap-on lids, and it was, it says $1.99. Okay, sure. For $1.99, I guess, unless my... We won't say, but it was a dollar ninety nine for the glass bowl snap on lids. I bought two for myself. That's that. Then <laughs> I got some noisemakers. Yes, yes, indeedy. Got myself some more noisemakers. I don't have enough yet, and so. It's a little tangled, but I got myself a butterfly wind chime. And I don't know how much this was. Oh, wait, here we go. This was $9.99 for Butterfly Noisemaker. So there's that. Ain't she beautiful? The one I wanted, they didn't. It didn't seem to be all that exciting. Then I got myself this butterfly noise maker. And I believe it's the same price. Yep, $9.99. And it's a little tangled right now, but I like the purple. So there's that one. I like noisemakers. Yep, yep. Then I've always wanted one of these paper cutter things. And they had it for $7.99. So I got a paper cutter thing. Because I want to get back into my crafts, you know? I want to start doing that again. So it's a 12-inch trimmer. So, I got that. Then, I picked up two of this Cowboy Seasoning and Rub for $2.99. So, I got two of those. My husband is wanting to get into some fishing, and so he got him this lure, lure for $7.99. Pretty little thing there. And then some of these Power Bait Original Scent Plastic Worms, I guess, 
for $2.99. Then some of these. What does it say? Rooster Spin? I guess that's what they are for $3.99. Then he got himself some uh, hooks for $5.99, small little. And if he wanted to get into them, he could have told me what I... I also am going to be coming on. I don't have it yet, but I'm going to be coming on with... I bought a bunch of different flavored um, syrups for my water. I'm going to start doing that again. And I got... Um, what else did I get? Some Timu stuff coming. Okay, and I got the family size troll sour bite. Oh, sneakers. Sneakers. So I got some of these, and these were $2.99 for these. And I believe there's something else in this bag. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then we got a pot belly dude. That's what it says for $2.99 for his fishing thing. Let's get this back into the bag. I know. Crinkle, crinkle in the bag. I know. Look at my look at my hair. Yeah. So I got that. And don't worry, there's more. More to come. Then I got five cans of mandarin orange and light syrup, and each can was a dollar nineteen a can. I kind of like them. It's good stuff. And that in the background is my cat. He's playing with his toys. Five cans of that. Then, next to me here is a, what is this? It's a King of Life bait container. And it's $10 for $9.99. So... My husband, like I said, is starting to get into the fishing thing again. He says, honey, let's go fishing and take the edge off of things. And I bought myself these. Oh, hold on. The tape is stuck to my... There we go. I bought... A 20-piece meal prep food container. And these are $6 for 10 of these plates and, of course, 10 um, lids. I thought that was a good deal, you know. Even though I didn't want plastic again, but... Oh, that's all I had. And like I said, I want to get back into crafts and stuff. And I saw these acrylic paints, fluorescent acrylic paints, 10 of them for $3.99. And I have more paints that are in my bedroom in a container. So that'll go in that container. Yo, you have the lime neon green, the bright yellow, the orange, I think it's peach, I don't know, uh, purple, the greens, the blues, all different colors. I like them all, so for $4, and it comes free brush included. So there you go. And then I picked up this, 
and I thought my niece <coughs> signed up for college and she signed up for college down here. She might be moving down here if I can get her to commit to all of this. I picked up 14 blending markers and they were $8 for these markers and you get all different colors in a nice little tin and I like that. You know, they have red, they have orange, they have uh, yellow, they have cannery. Never heard of it. They have green, they have sea green, they have blue. Uh, velvet, peach, bubblegum, slate, black and white, and some other colors. So, and that was $7.99, $8 for this. I didn't think it was a bad price. That was that. Then, I saw this. It is a four-pack of Sudley Salad Classic, and I like adding my own stuff to it, so I figured a four-pack, what the hell, why not? So, for three dollars, there you go, four-pack for the Sudley Salad, and I still have some up in my um, food storage. Then I bought a uh, crisp and thins uh, cream cheese and bacon. Sounded interesting. I like cream cheese and bacon. Then I, my husband wanted some ginger slices for four dollars. Well, three dollars and twenty nine cents. He loves stuff like that. Then here's my other can of the panko breadcrumbs. Oh, it's got a nice little recipe on the back for chicken pachetta. Interesting. Let's see, chicken pachetta. You could freeze the frame and maybe copy down the recipe. So, Italian of those. Then, because I'm a nice sister, my brother said, Can you please get me some spatulas? So, I got him some spatulas. He's also going to be moving down here. So, and the spatulas were $4, $3.99. Silicone spatulas, good ones. They might melt eventually someday, but, you know, who knows? He says they're not going to melt. Then my husband also wanted some floating bobbers for $2.99. So he got a good bag of those. I don't even know how many are in here. But, one, two, three... For, I don't know, there's quite a few of the bobbers. And here's some more. Oh, oh here's some, oh, I don't know, fishing frogs for $6. Fishing frogs. And then another mini worms, crumpy magic for a dollar ninety nine cents, really. Then here's the two bowls that I bought for myself, and they are a dollar ninety nine. So I've always wanted them, and the bigger ones, they didn't have 
The lids were broken. All of them. The lids were broken. So I got that. Then I bought myself a new kitchen table. And I thought maybe I would buy some placemats. And I like the coffee theme. So I got some coffee placemats for $1.59 each. So I got four of them. And then I saw this and I thought, well, this is perfect for spring or summer. Is the pretty little um, flowers. And they also were $1.49. And I think that was it, y'all. Yep. No more bags. Well, what do you know? That was it. That is all that I bought at Ollie's. Now, Ollie's is a discount store, if some of you don't know. So, that was it. I showed you all of my goods. Now, like I said... I will keep my promise. I bought some bottles of some flavoring syrups from a restaurant supply store. And that should be coming. And then I also bought some... Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Um... I just got my Bath and Body Works, but I am kind of crowded right now with all my stuff, so um, sorry about that. Um, I bought a bunch of hand soaps and wallflowers and um, some um, hand lotions and, or body lotions and stuff. Um, I can't think of the other thing. Oh, some Timu. I bought um, close to $150 worth of stuff of Timu. I was bored one day and just went on the website and just started shopping. So, but we've been busy. Um, like I said, my niece, she applied for college down here in Arkansas. In fact, the college is no more than maybe 10 minutes away from my house here. So she's going to be coming down here to go to classes and stuff. She doesn't do very good with classes online. So she's going to do that. Um, my brother is going to move down here to be closer to me. And I guess where he lives, things are getting a little too hairy to even be out of your house. And so... Um, he just decided that coming down here would be something that he wants to do. So, you know, since our parents are no longer around, he wants to get to know me all over again. So we decided we would have him come down on a trial basis and see how things go. And so far, everything is going pretty good. So... We have always gotten along. It's just we kind of grew apart for a little while. So, but things are getting a little better. So, that is that. Now I'm going to put all this stuff away and maybe have some dinner. Oh, oh, excuse me, maybe have some dinner or something. I am thirsty, so I'm going to get myself something to drink. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace, y'all. Be kind to one another. This world is getting too tough.